you know, stupid. All right, finally. Welcome to another episode of The Feels. This is my reaction series, and today we're going to be react reacting to something, man, I have not played since Sega Genesis. This is like 19... What, 98? 1998 was the last time I played this... Uh, no, I'll take that back. It was like 2000 when I got the emulator on my on my laptop and I played Streets of Rage 3 because we couldn't get it in the United States. Or at least I couldn't. I didn't know Streets of Rage 3 existed until I got the ROM for the emulator. But uh, for the Sega Genesis emulator. But that's... Um, that was a long time ago, man. A long time ago. I'm 30. I think that when I played... Streets of Rage 2. When I played the first Streets of Rage, I had to be like, what, man? I don't even know. Like, it definitely was like a preteen. I had to be like, what, 12, 13 years old? Around that age. When the Streets of Rage 2 came out, Now, I'm pretty sure I got all these games later than what later than what um, later than what they than when they came out. So I'm I'm, I'm having kind of like a a memory lapse right now. Like it's just. It's like it's all coming back to me, man. Like, man, I, I had some fun times with Streets of Rage, man. Streets of Rage 1 and 2 was the game. When I played Streets of Rage 3, I enjoyed that, too. I, I was hyped when I found... I, I felt like I was finding, like, the biggest secret ever, which, which it really wasn't. But, yeah, Streets of Rage 3. Because before I played it, I only heard it through the grapevine. Like, oh, there may be a Streets of Rage 3. And when I got the Sega Genesis emulator on my laptop, I... I found it, but it was like a Europe version. It wasn't the American version. I couldn't even find the U.S. version anywhere. But, um, yeah, man. So all that time in past that we finally got us a Streets of Rage 4, man. A Streets of Rage 4. It has multiplayer features. In it. Online co-op. You know I had to do a reaction to this, man. I got a big history with Streets of Rage. With that being said, man, as usual, don't sleep on the merch, man. Don't sleep on the merch. I got bandanas. I got hoodies, right? Hoodies. Uh, turn that on. Boom. Right there. Love me for it. I got shirts, man. Shirts. The days. Get that back of that got the varsity jackets on the deck Ooh. oh and all these come in different colors too so don't you know don't get discouraged they all come in different colors too what am I forgetting all right the shoes. Check them out, man. Check out the beauty. Look at those. So yeah, man. All t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. It's all available through my Teespring stores. You guys can check those out. Use the code WORLD10 to get 10% off on your purchase. And if you want a varsity jacket, a hoodie, or the shoes, hit me up on my DM, on my Instagram, World Warriors Collective, man. With that being said, man, let's get started with this. I need to see this. I need to see this. And the music is hype.
Oh, here, a new character. Okay. Wonder what his story is. Hey, I wonder if he's in any relation to that old man from Streets of Rage 3. Oh, look at that. He got beans. Nah, <laughs> we can throw them all. Yeah, thank you, they got online co op. Wait a minute, is that. Hold on, wait, back. Is that Adam? Wait a minute, hold on, four player. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, hold on now. That kind of hurt my feelings with that a little bit. Wait a minute, did these people just put four players locally? Wait a minute, like they really just tried to sneak that in. Hold on. You know it had to be some catch. So after just announcing, announcing they had online multiplayer, They sneak in, you can use up to four players. And you everybody's like, yay! And then they hit you with that little locally small print at the bottom. Now you gotta imagine, how many people have seen that up play up to four players and just jumped up excited? And they and they probably like missed when when they locally popped up. So they going into this thinking that it's like the greatest thing ever. And they don't talk to nobody else, so when they finally get it, they try to play four players online. They're not able to do it. Y'all know how to kill a motherfucker spirit, don't y'all? Dang. That's uh, let's finish this. But I'm still I'm still hyped for it though. Wait a minute, is that Wait a minute, did Streets of Rage have like another person that they announced? Who's this chick with the guitar? Hold on, wait a minute, we gotta check this. Like, we gotta check this live. Okay, Adam, he is back. Cause, I mean, that was the last full. That Shiva. I'm so glad I watched this. Tell me that we can unlock Shiva in this game, man. Shiva was playable in Streets of Rage 3. He got to be unlockable in Streets of Rage 4. Come on. If one of the one of the bosses got to be the kangaroo too. I'm just saying, like, come on, man. Like, don't disappoint me. I don't admit to being a fan of anything, but I'm a fan fan of this. Like, I'm a fan fan. Like, he gotta be unlockable in this game, man. I hope he ain't, ain't gonna pull no, no paid DLC BS with this game. Come on, man. Not in the spirit of a side scroll and beat em ups. We don't need that. stage six okay man they did if they don't give you a chance to unlock Sheila like bro they gotta give you a chance to unlock this character in this game they have to I mean it's, it's stage six I don't know what stage they're going to um hopefully they do like 
I'm gonna put it like this. I hope they do like, a piece of me wants to say, I hope they do 10 stages. But a piece of me wants to see at least 15. I wanna see at least 15 stages in this game. And they gotta let you unlock, like, okay. So in, in Streets of Rage 3, the, the way that you can unlock Shiva and the Kangaroo, right, is that you have to fight them first as bosses. Like, they come as bosses first. And once you fight them, I think you have to hold, like, down B on a Sega controller. And then you'll be able to go back to the character select screen and, uh, and play them. Uh, and, and you'll be able to uh, use them. I'm hoping they do something like that. I think that'd be so dope, bro. But I'm worried they're not gonna do it or they're gonna try to do like a paid DLC thing. Like, bro, please give us the ability to pitch. It, it's so many things they need to do in order for this to be a perfect Streets of Rage 4, you know, game. If this is gonna be the, the fourth game, it's a few things they need to do. Like, like they need you, they, they need you to be able to un well, well, first off, like they need to add Skate to the roster. They need to add Max to the roster. They need to uh, allow you to unlock Shiva. They need, they need to allow you to unlock the Kangaroo. They need to bring back uh, Zan, I believe that was his name, the, the, the robotic old man from Streets of Rage 3. Those five things, they need to bring back Mr. X. Not as the final boss for this game, but maybe as like a second to the last boss or something like that, or like the third to the last. Like they need to put him in the game, just for like nostalgia reasons. Even if he's just like the robot, like he was in uh, in three. If, if they can do those seven things, oh, this game is gonna blow through the roof. But I'm, I like the gameplay though, man. Like the gameplay just bring, it's bring. Like, like I kind of wish I had like a Sega controller and I was playing it myself. You know, I, I'm really there. Like y'all don't get me, y'all don't get me this excited for a reaction video like this unless it's genuine. Because I only do genuine reactions. I don't do like the over the top fake reactions like these other people do. This dude, yeah, man. I'm kind of on a nostalgia trip right now because I'm just thinking. We didn't came a long way for this. If they can do those seven things, bro, then we pretty much in the in the business, man. Oh, oh, but I'm buying it regardless, though. I'm just I just really want them to add those seven things in there. Add Zan, Max, Skate. I'll let, let you unlock Shiva. Let you unlock uh, the boxing kangaroo character. Um, what else? Uh. Add Mr. X as like the third to the last boss or the second to the last boss. Or just put him in the game, period. Um, dang, what was the seventh thing I said? I don't know, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna tell me. And I think I'm gonna remember after I end the video anyway. But that being said, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, follow me on my Instagram, World Warriors Collective, for the merch. ADS Play 101 on Instagram for everything else. Um, I do weekly, uh, I'm posting weekly schedules now. So you guys can go on there and see when I'm going to live stream um, and what I'm going to live stream. Uh, you know, I'm going to add that to this upcoming schedule. But as far as the start times, I'm going to start, you know, it goes by the weekly basis because I'm a, I, I have to go by my availability for my job. So I got to like mix it in with that and try to give you like a good start time. But I'm going to do a new schedule every week just to update you guys as to when I'm going to live stream. And it's going to be posted on my uh, Instagram first and then I'm going to screenshot that I'm going to take that picture and I'm going to put it in my at the, at the bottom of my Twitch so you guys can see it as well So, and I'm going to put it on my Twitter so you guys can see it on there too so thank you guys so much for watching remember World Warriors Collective be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy in battle St stand on your three World Warriors Collective